The Parliamentary Select Committee for Youth, Sports and Culture, our uh, Parliament, Eddie and Samar Betuja said, more be invited. The Blasters Captain, uh, Andre Lady, are you to appear before them? Nah, Mr. Bissan and Sam Effa, the Blasters of Ghana, and Body Moyo Kobo, our Afcon 2021. I ain't to me, I'm saying, you know, I'm a person, Mr. Andre Lady, are you in Sam Baku, you know, and this I want to know. I want to know, Eddie, I'm the Ghana Football Association. So, okay, now I'm on country, Andre Lady, are you? Na na ka do na fi se e bia nka be ye eh in camera and as e bia on zoom but eh ye fi fi my nature se eh nei parliament aka che ji e fi se e si da se de de na ka sabe ba eh be share the parliamentary select committee on youth sports and culture and as so se obem mo obi a obem team no deputy and as se ono abe delegate obi mo obi aba eh be share parliamentary select committee on youth sports and culture and in there, when I say, and to me, and you, you man, no matter how many the day are you bit me a meeting you via Zoom. As I now make a say, dear, a idea, options of money, my GFA, they say, is either said the dinner casa, a beba, and I also say, Obama, Obi, a beginner, and a name, Eddie Amano, and Nesma, if he a Omaso, a babat, and ra, a honorable commander, where you may only ranking member, Edma, Parliamentary Select Committee, Youth Sports and Culture, and it's three, a station, A Dean Como. And our dinner summer to ya, a chicken, no, say to good tea, and your more friend, and really dare you, and then you're putting ya, or more free feeling. All right, so it's time for the sports here on News 360 with me, Thierry and Thanks for staying with us. Now, the Parliamentary Selects Committee on Sports has invited Andrew, you, the captain of the Black Stars, to the floor of Parliament to answer questions relating to the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations. Now, Ghana's participation at the 2021 AFCON was cut short after a poor showing in the group stages. The Black Stars picked up no wins in three games against Morocco, Gabon, and Comoros. That led to the earliest exit from the AFCON since 2006. Now, Andre, the captain of the Black Stars, has now been invited to appear before the lawmakers to explain Ghana's debacle. Now, we are following up on that particular story. And Konak Wemi, a member of Parliament for South Tong constituency and a ranking member of the Parliamentary Select uh, Committee on Sports, joins us on phone. Honorable Wemi, good evening. Now, if you can hear me, what exactly will Andre be quizzed on? And uh, there are questions about his assignments at the time he's expected to face the committee. Very well. Um, good, good evening. And good evening to your distinguished uh, uh, listeners. Um, let me correct um, what the invitation is all about. Uh, per the statement uh, you made, we are not inviting him to the floor to, as it were, answer our questions. It is the committee that has been taxed after the statement on the poor showing by the blood stars that was read on the floor. And so what we are doing is going to be just going into what actually happened. And uh, we will need the leader of the main body, that is the captain. All his assigned, it may not necessarily be him, but somebody who we can talk to, to just have uh, some appreciation of actually what happened, to understand what really took place and whether they were quite motivated enough. So it all depends on what members of the committee, you know, within the context of what we are looking for, that may be asking some particular questions alongside our towards uh, maybe getting what we need for the people. But it, 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 do you not consider this harsh, um, considering that um, these players have departed to their clubs and, and um, you know, have assignments with their respective clubs? No, but then, um, after talking to the clerk, I understood that we are not really, we appreciate the fact that he's working currently, or he's playing for his um, team currently, and may not, and may not, and may not probably come, or, but then we think that uh, the tone of what was said, he's assigned, you know, or his representative, or somebody to represent the team, you know, can do well to come and talk to us. It's all going to be about what really went on. I mean, it's going to be a friendly, a friendly kind of chat. And let me also say this. We are doing all this, having in mind 
the, the, the crucial game against Nigeria, that we will have to ensure that we keep the team together and that there ought to be some harmony among them. And so we just want to know what really ought to be done going forward to ensure that we go in to that game, subsequent and all other games, to make sure we make the impact. And so we might not even do some of this in public. It might, do, it might end up being in camera, you know, sort of discussion to appreciate what it is. So uh, tomorrow, I'm sure the committee will meet again where we'll thank you all of that. And then I'm sure it's going to be, uh, it's not something that is, uh, should be considered harsh at all, as probably you. All right, finally, before you go, um, are there going to be other members of the contingent that travel to Cameroon for the AFCON, also invited by the committee? Yeah, well, the, uh, the invitation has been extended to, I think, GFA, the Galka, and some key institutions, um, including the NSC, the Ministry of Transport, and, 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 and quite a uh, host of others. So I'm sure tomorrow at a meeting of the committee, we'll We'll be able to kind of finalize the list and then probably get to all the others that needs to be received in an invitation letter to that effect. So at the end of the day, it will be one which we might be able to define what we need to do next time. What really has been beaten us this time around, we need to be able to overcome going forward. We don't want to be going around, around the circles, believing that we'll make it and we don't. I mean, this time around, we need to care what happens. So All right, Honorable Oyomi, thank you very much for your time here on News 360. Thank you. Honorable new Blasters head coach and the new Tekka advisor, the Blasters, Chris Hilton, and an assistant George Boatimuina, to me, Koshia, our London. Um, uh, Moko ye meeting soon ko. Na before I'm ever some meeting so grand Mushia uh Jordan Ayu on Bo Modi and Ishia Thomas Tay Party and a branch of friend Sally Su Mohammed Usia Kadima Sadamton. Say possible bit me a change in a DBC I can mount my gana. But uh, the main purpose of the meeting you know, was to discuss the way forward for the blasters a uh, match against Air uh, Nigeria. And so far no uh Mudi Komuni we no yeah deal or much uh um Jimmy Dibian Edia Momo um, concerning Ghana versus Nigeria game, you know, Kai Shannon's mom said Ghana be both first leg in Ewa, and which in the year near Kupimu, Ewa Nigeria, 8th 27th. Now in Nigeria, Kobol, a retelling account on Ewa Buja. It's in the idea in Pinifona, a media, their mom will say, or Moody behind the scene. Then it's not privy to the media. And I feel my suit did the drama on what Ghana want to make a PM on your one of the assistants, you know. On some moment, the media would behind the scene to ensure say Ghana, a bit to me, a Yakonka Nigeria qualifier for Qatar 2022. Uh, see, see, I'm say the likes of um St. Pauli or my brand here, friend on Daniel Kofitre, and uh, a beautiful chance of me to me, Asian or Germany, a year Otoado, and a Chris Hilton. And the judge brought in actually some to be Asian and then um other host of um players uh Antoine Semenyo and so yeah they are likely uh now which may be on Bishia no crown son of Moku and Moku Shia uh then they go feature it. I want some if you want more about no because one monitor a legend is possible to be for me and I don't want some medical.